hello, it's another sketchbook tour. And no, I don't intend on just posting sketchbook tours. Um, it's the seventh one I filled up. It's a BAM Best Art Materials uh, sketchbook. Well, it's a nice sketchbook, but it uh, doesn't handle wet media very well. Which uh, <laughs> is what I mainly use. And this is one of my favorite ever sketchbooks. And uh, yeah, it took me 189 days, which is about average for me. And here is a doodle of myself being excited about my new sketchbook swatch page. And here is a doodle of myself not being excited about the sketchbook anymore. <laughs> and again. Yeah, the thing is, the paper pretty much sucks everything up like toilet paper. Like, not even kidding, it's basically like toilet paper. But these are some drawings that I made. With a family friend. Well, the daughter of a family friend. Whatever. Casey and Spencer and a random lady that uh, I think is referenced from Pinterest. I have an OC and his name is Sip and yeah, his shoes and then there's one of the first designs of Fizzy. She looks kind of different now and her brother, not actual brother, that now is named Zero and Pendoodles. I really like the style I kept this sketchbook in, it's just so full and it's pretty much how I keep most of my sketchbooks now. Yeah, it, it took me seven sketchbooks to develop how I want to use them, actually. Has a mixture of finished sketches and just scribbly things like this. Also, this was about at a time that I realized I can't draw noses for shit. <laughs> so I drew 50 noses. <laughs> I really like this thing. It looks like a... The, 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 the thing there sometimes on dresses. I don't know the word. Whatever. This is... Can you see how trash this paper is for watercolor? Yeah, that's why I didn't use watercolor in this sketchbook anymore after that. Well, I think a couple of times, but not primarily. Also, this is part of a dream I once had. And we sank into the water with our car, but it was only like three meters deep and uh, weird stuff. I basically always have weird dreams and I thought about illustrating them. Uh, guess would be a nice series to do. These are my best... best I'm sorry, I just had a cup of coffee. These are by my best friend. Well, one of my best friends. And these are by her as well. And these three drawings, I'm sure you know these two characters by now if you follow me. They're all from a weird ass uh, underground organization car race thing with vampires. And other magical creatures, but primarily vampires. Yeah, and I still really like those sketches until now. You know the thing? when you draw and then suddenly you have a drawing that looks like so good and then a few years later that good from that surprising good from then this is also by my best friend it's like your the level that you have then now in the future whatever and i think this was these three were kind of uh uh you know, from the, from, from the, uh, the visit by the future skill, I don't know how... <laughs> I should have drunk... I should not have drunk coffee before filming. Yes. I really like this eye. It's a nice eye. And this was a draw this in your style. By Livia Hanna. I guess. I drew things that I wanted but I didn't have. Well, I don't know what this is. These are probably supposed to be records. And I'm sure you've seen this somewhere on Tumblr or Pinterest, but it's like an almond with a. How do 
can't call it in English. Well, anyways, I thought it was cute. And I just had to draw it. Just some patterned stuff. And he's drawing of Spencer and Casey again. His nose is freaking weird. Both of their noses are freaking weird. What am I seeing? A feather. And this is some kind of sea, whenever, that I probably haven't drawn ever since. This is my D&D character, Iome. Well, probably not the best. See, this drawing is more accurate. He was a thiefling wizard, I believe. And I was drawing this when we were driving to a competition for gun shooting. Yes, that's the thing in Switzerland. If you're Swiss, you can attend thingies. In Switzerland, you can attend courses on how to shoot guns for free by the government. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, why the hell not? Let's prep for, for if, if there ever is an instance like an apocalypse where I need that skill. <laughs> also, it's kind of fun. And in a different canton that, that I live in, my uncle and my grandpa actually are like instructors. This is an OC that I completely ditched too. This one did too. Well, I've just never drawn them again after this. <laughs> Oops. Oh, look at him. Wait, Dexter. I think Dexter is his name. And he's adorable. Look at those cheeks. And here I was trying to practice inking with, I believe it was some kind of brush pen. Well, this wasn't, but the other ones. <laughs> Making stamps. Panda stamp, we still have the panda stamp. Wait a minute, I can show you panda stamp. Also like when you draw with like different colors on top of each other and kind of build up shading and this form and the structure and the sketch and everything just with the color. Uh, wait, I got it. So, and we have a sealed page, Ooh. and here we have another small little Dexter, sorry for the finger in the frame, um, eyes and Pinterest model thingies and the flower thing and, oh, I was in, on a holiday trip, on vacation in England with my dad and he cannot speak English at all. But we made a little comic thingy where I drew my character Josh. And he's all like, hi, I'm Josh. And this is Bobulus. Like, I drew a frame, he drew a frame, I drew a frame, he drew a frame. That's how the thing worked. And it was kind of funny. And yeah. Her asking for a little bit of honey for, for her tea. And then B-Man appearing, which, <laughs> if you know who B-Man is, props to you. Uh, um, I, I think it's, it was supposed to mean, I wanted honey and not bees. Please help me, help me, I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> yes. And then we, still on the same trip, my dad had to go to the barber. And I was drawing the barber's equipment. And at the end of it, he asked me what I was drawing and he he was, um, the word, the word, the word. He was Harry, uh, not Harry. <laughs> he was very happy that he drew his equipment. Also, we were trying, basically I was trying to explain to him Swiss education system. It's fucking complicated, but anyways. Uh, 
Oh, up to this point, I always drew either waterfall hair or freaking noodle hair. See this? This is what I call noodle hair. Besides this one, this one wasn't surprised, but still kind of noodly. You know, waterfall hair, uh, waterfall hair. See where I'm? See where I'm going? And then I watched the hair tutorial. The, the hair. The, the, I can't talk. The hair tutorial by Oliver Santix, and it helped a lot. <laughs> and this is Squidward. I have a drawer more. He's actually kind of fun to draw. Um, here's tea, and it was the best tea that I drank on my whole trip to England. That that's no, this one. This was it. This was the nice tea. And did did that that that. I always did this when I was a little kid. I took a little piece of a tip of paper, and then I put a coin underneath and went over it with a pencil or color pencil or colored pencil I should talk less fast then I would be talking better never mind doesn't work uh, there's some ideas I wrote down and this was a sketch but I never did anything with it because my preferred medium for doing drawing like this would be watercolors and uh, doesn't um, Toilet paper doesn't really like watercolors, you know. Uh, Astia is like in the world after second big boom, uh, like a forest protector spirit type of thing, I guess. And this is when I was in Tenerife. Tenerife, I don't know. I went on a holiday trip with my mom. Uh, before he asked, um, blah, blah, blah. they're divorced, so. Yeah, that's why I went on a holiday trip twice. Yeah. This was in Tenerife, as I said. Uh, me collecting stickers and stuff. Still do that sometimes, some poses. Don't know where I had them from. Probably Pinterest. Don't know though. More poses. Then I saw one of these rings there and I drew this and then I wrote this song text thingy <laughs> now I've really got nice I don't know why but sometimes I have the tendency to get hit, hit, hit hiccups when I drink coffee skull I don't know for some reason I have like one skull in every sketchbook pretty much not always but uh, it's easy to see my progressions with the skulls you know what I'm saying? New stamps. And one thing that I always did is like these cute ass dresses. And I don't know why. Some flowers. Oh, this has a fun story behind it. I wanted to order a milkshake, strawberry milkshake, two times. But, it, but the guy at the bar just did not understand me. So I drew it. And then me and my mom were hanging in the restaurant drinking our milkshakes and like an entertainer there went up to me and asked what I showed this man you know and then I showed this and he was very amazed by it I was I wanted to illustrate a recipe but I didn't get very far with it yeah was for Tomato spaghetti, these are other options you could put in it if you wanted to. I think it was that. Um, I think you can see how my motivation just went downhill. <laughs> see, this is even oh, empty. By the time, I was very unmotivated to fill a sketchbook anymore. I had all these pages taped together for a while and just told myself this is a new sketchbook. Well, like, I tricked my brain into thinking it was a new sketchbook, so yeah. Uh, me talking about my haircut. That's, that's the drawing of me. And I watched Black Butler. 
So we have Tanaka, Melin, and Finian. Because they're cute. And I was drawing this before a meeting with a teacher that is supposed to help you find a job and all. Everything that he told me was I shouldn't do something like biology or something in that direction because I'm shit at maths. Thanks, I know. <laughs> I drew this while watching Stranger Things. Napkin with nice collar thingy. And I think I drew this while watching Stranger Things as well. It's just like the perspective is whack in a lot of places, but it wasn't about me getting the perspective right. It was just like doodling, almost like a sang tangle. And uh, see how many different house element thingies I just could come up with without any references and stuff. <gasps> oh, I think this is the birth of Mika, if I'm not wrong. And Cassie. And see, Mika and Oliver and Josh and Olivia, these are the same people. This is the same person. And he identifies as a guy, but he can just like transform into a girl whenever he wants. So just, yep. It's pretty shitty parents though, and they always wanted him to be a girl, but whatever. Um, this is Josh in his flower shop. And this is a painting of Josh in his flower shop. And this time the watercolor didn't even go on that shitty. Don't know what was different that time. Some more sketches of the other characters and then some JP drawings and I didn't have <laughs> see this was like a, a time where I didn't that, 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 that had more problem with creativity uh, like art block but just teeny tiny short teeny tiny short art block and I really liked it to be honest and you know, like, this is okay, this is okay, but just don't look at this. And don't look at this. And this was for me to, uh, because height, differences, note, thingy, whatever. And here we have my little boy Mika. Reading and drinking coffee or tea, I don't know. Okay. I was really proud of this because I drew this with my left hand because uh, uh, my right wrist hurt it like hell. Uh, poses. See, this is like a face where I just wanted to be done with the sketchbook and then this happened. Look at this cutie. So adorable. Don't look at this. This is adorable. Just ignore the other things. Uh, don't know what this was. This is supposed to be my mom. No, Doc is not supposed to stand on her head. Just spacing just happened to look like him. Is, you know, when it wasn't intentional. Uh, yeah. Nice drawing, I guess. And then we have this. Yes, it's, it is Spencer drawing Casey. Because Spencer's an artist. And he needed help with the post. Oh, Some dried flowers that are very cute and little and adorable. And we have some more drawings of me not knowing what I wanted to draw. Uh, me planning out an entire thing for Inktober and I never even finished this was just a practice, and I never even finished day one. <laughs> ah, whatever, help me out, help me fill up some pages. This is when like everybody was drawing with rainbow pencils, and I thought I want to do that too. My stamps and some doodly doodles, probably from class. Had some excess paint. And never drew anything over it. Some watercolor charts. Yes. 
I don't have a lot to say about this besides the fact that I just did those to fill up the sketchbook and not having to do a, like an actual drawing. Uh, I was trying to study how like fabric folds and falls and drapes and flows and yeah, this, it, I just wanted it to end. Didn't have motivation for it anymore. So that's the end. This is, this is the specific sketchbook uh, that, that, that I I use the wrapping as a little pocket because I can. And that's it for my seventh sketchbook. I also have an Instagram account. It's J underscore is underscore drawing. If you want to follow me there, because I usually post there more often. Yes, I think that's that's it. If you want more videos, I usually post but post on Mondays. Not on every Monday, but at least on one main Monday in a month. So yeah. Bye.